today what I'm going to be doing is upcycling some cans. I need something to put some herbs in and I don't want to chuck these cans away even though they probably would be recycled. What I found out last time when I did cans is this rim here on the can, that rim there is really sharp and I am clumsy so I cut myself on it. So all I've done is got myself some of these little snippers, gone round, snipped through it like this all the way around making small snips to the edge and it doesn't take too long to do and actually it cuts through this tin really easily and now what i'm going to do is go in with my pliers which are really old and rusty but they still work lovely and fold those over they fold over completely flush to the can and the reason i do small pieces is it doesn't distort the shape of the can and it's so much safer oh i'm not going to cut myself with it so what i'm going to do is finish that one off and then before i do the upcycling bit i'm going to spray them black and let that dry i'll take that out outside to do that because I don't want to be spraying inside. These have all dried now. They only took a couple of hours to dry. That's the great thing about that spray paint. And actually, they look quite nice like that. And you could put a label on them. And again, they're not sharp at all there. Look at that. Lovely. No cut fingers. What I'm going to do is three different ones. The first one I'm going to do, we'll be using this braid that I made. I made this braid in a previous video. And I'll link that at the end of this video if you want to see how to make this. It is so simple, so cheap. And it was only made out of garden twine. Look how pretty that is. I think that's come out really pretty. And that's going to be easy to glue on there. All I'm going to be using for that is my hot glue gun. So for this one, I'm going to start right at the very top because I want to make sure that I've got a really good connection there like that. And then what I can do is I can go around and place this where I want it. Now, I don't need to glue every little bit down because that would just be a waste of glue. What I can do is go like here. Pull that onto there nice and tight. Hold that down. Go around again. Making sure that's in place. And that's holding it in lovely. Now, I'm not too worried about this finish here. As you can see, there's a little bit going there. Because I'm going to be putting something on there, which you'll see in a minute. <laughs> but I will put a bit of glue there. And I want to butt this up as close as I possibly can to the previous one as I wind it round. And this will stick to this can really well. There's no problems about that. There we go. So that's sticking on there well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish winding this one round and gluing it down. And then I'll show you how I'm going to finish this one off. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with this one, which is very different. And with this one, which again is very different. Well, I've got that all on there now. And I've got the edge that I need to finish off. What I'm going to use for the edge is this thicker twine. And again, I got this from exactly the same place. And I'm going to put a whole ring of that around the top and again all i'm going to use for this is my hot glue gun and this will stick this wrap down really really well once i've got the first bit on like that then i can just go around and put the rest on and this won't take many seconds to do then once i've got to the end all i need to do is cut through my twine there put a little bit of glue on the end there and there and push those together and that's finished that one off and i'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom and then once the bottom's done i'll show you what i'm going to do with the rest the second one i'm going to be doing is with black sequins and i get these sequins on a nice long roll like this oh they last forever and as you know i made a cat out of them and i'm going to put them on exactly the same way going round like I did with the glue. Third one is going to be very different. It's not using anything that's on a string. So again, all I need to do is pop a bit of glue onto this edge here. Get some of these sequins off. So I've got a nice start to it. And then pop that on there like that. And then go round in exactly the same way. But this time, I will slightly overlap them as they're coming round. So I'm putting a bit of glue there. And I've got a lovely finishing touch for this one. So now I've got to there. I'm going to get right up to this very end here, like that. I should have done it with a different colour sequin so you could see. But now what I'm going to do is overlap those sequins so there's no gap between the sequins and the tin. Well, I've finished that one off now, and I think that looks really pretty. Look at that sparkle. It's covered lovely. And on the top of this one, I've created a chevron 
band as you can see it's got chevrons going around you can choose whatever colors you want if you want to know how to make that chevron band then let me know in the comments below and i'll do a quick video on it and all i'm going to do is again using my hot glue gun put a bit of glue on the inside of this band there line it up with the join of this one the top one that i've put on so i'm going to hold that in place until it's stuck on there and once it's stuck i can go around adding a bit more glue into the inside here I love this glue gun. <laughs> Everyone that's bought a cordless glue gun has said, how have I ever lived without it? Like everything else, I'll link it in the description below. And then put a bit on the end here so I can stick those together. And then I'm going to finish that off in a second with something. And then this final one, as I said to you, I'm going to do this one a little bit different. I'm going to do this on a bit of brown paper because it'll be make less mess. And what I'm going to do first is paint it all over in gilding adhesive and this is a water-based gilding adhesive and i will again link this in the description below all i'm going to do is give that a really good coating of this all the way over now it goes on white so you can see where it is and then i will let that dry and once it's dry it dries completely clear so you know when it's finished drying and if you want to put a second coat on, then pop a second coat of it on. Because that way, if you've missed any bits, you feel confident that you've got everywhere. It goes ever such a long way, this does. That's all nice and dry now, but it is very sticky. And that's what you want. You want it to be lovely and sticky. And this is why I'm going to cover this one in, of course, some glitter. So first of all, I'm putting my chunky silver glitter down onto my paper then i'm going to roll this can in it look how well that sticks to that tap it off make sure it's fully covered and it is that is covered really well roll that through one more time pushing that in nicely tap off all the excess and now that is very well stuck onto there not much is coming off at all but we don't want any of that to come off so what I'm going to do is take it outside and give it a quick spray over it with this crystal clear seals protect and that will really get that stuck on there lovely. And then I can show you how I'm going to finish this one. Well, they're all finished now. I think you'll agree. They look really great. My favourite is obviously the sparkly one. I love the way the glitter comes out. And that'd be good for things like makeup brushes. I'm going to plant some herbs in these. But I don't have any herbs at the moment until the spring. This one you could use for tools because it's a little bit more industrial looking maybe and this one for pens and pencils let me know what you think of them in the comments i hope you've enjoyed this upcycle just from really some old empty tins they have come out brilliant and this one with the sequins on has also come out really sparkly links to everything are in the description below take care enjoy your crafting bye